short links, the pinnacle of modern technology, making links shorter for convenience or practicality. How do they work? What are the applications and why do we use them? All this in the upcoming episode of The Web Oversimplified. Goo.gl, Bitly, Adfly, TinyURL. All of these websites take your link and make it short. But how? When you submit a link into a URL shortening service, they pick a random string of capital letters, lowercase letters, and numbers. This amounts to 62 characters being able to use to generate a random sequence of 8 characters. This amounts to 218,340,105,584,896 different possible strings for short URLs. This URL I picked randomly. It will be assigned to redirect upon being loaded to the given address. What many people think is that the link will be changed and that the old link doesn't exist anymore. If that were true, many websites would have already been broken. Oversimplified, a short URL is a tiny web link that has a redirect built in so that upon visit, the visitors are piped to the original URL. Applications and uses. Whenever you are writing an email, a resume, or anything else that you want to be neat and tidy, but you have to send someone something that can be only done through the web for convenience, such as a Google document, you often don't want to display an ugly URL that can be up to 100 characters long. Instead, you copy the link and make it into a shortened URL. Some services like tinyurl.com even allow you to give it a custom suffix as long as it hasn't been used yet. An example would be tinyurl.com slash google, which takes you to the Google homepage. Ironic, since tinyurl.com slash google is longer to write and speak than google.com. Many URLs are also used when giving someone a link in person, like on a sheet of paper. Since you can't copy and paste a URL on paper, manually typing in a huge link from Amazon is boring, time consuming, and most probably in the end, you made a mistake typing it in and need to go back and find where you went wrong. Of course, you could also reach for email or SMS, but when you want to show your grandparents that hilarious cat picture that you found on the meme center, it's best to give them a short URL rather than spending the entire day watching them type out that huge image URL into Internet Explorer 9. Conclusion Oversimplified, short URLs are a necessary thing in our everyday life, and we rely on them to be neat and save time in various situations we encounter in our traverse across the web. Thank you for watching this episode of The Web Oversimplified. The next video of The Web will be explaining the functionality and implementations of QR codes. Between that, there will be a mystery video that will be released shortly. Thank you for watching.